Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome in. It's Bathe. Recently, we got a tweet from Lords of the Fallen showing us a little bit of information. So I kind of paralleled that with Elden Ring, and I'm going to share that stuff with you guys. So let's go ahead and dig in there and take a look at it. So Lords of the Fallen. So let's see here. So 90 internal developers. Total developers, 400 plus. Like, that's a pretty good amount of developers. FromSoft is about 200, I think. Four years in development, that's good too. That's a good solid, solid chunk of time to make sure to debug the game and make sure that everything works properly. Fully remote studio. This is kind of scary a little bit, but keep in mind what happened with, with FromSoft and Elden Ring was uh, we went into COVID and nobody was prepared for it. Nobody could have anticipated that. So at that time, switching from working in studio to fully remote kind of messed them up. And unfortunately, we can see that it kind of messed the game up. But fast forward a couple of years, businesses and developer studios, they've kind of got more in tune with this remote working. And so I feel like these, uh, they're more prepared, Hexworks, they're more prepared for this than, than FromSoft was then. So this is probably shouldn't be as scary as it used to be. So, but we'll see how everything works out. 13 player classes, four secrets. So that's very interesting. So I think with the game, you get nine starting classes and there's one more class that you can get with the deluxe edition. And so the, what this is implying is there's more classes beyond that. Maybe you beat a specific boss or you beat the game or for each ending or down here, it says unique endings, three unique endings. Maybe you get like a different starting class, a noob class to play if you get a different ending. So we'll just have to see how that is. And to me, that's very exciting. I know that players are going to love that. They're going to love to find this new character, see what it is, see what it can do, stuff like that. So players love that kind of thing. 194 weapons and shields. So Elden Ring is about 300, 308, something like that, like weapons. So this is a pretty good amount of weapons, like 200. 76 spells and catalysts. So I think for Elden Ring, there's about 100, 103, something like that, spells in the game. I'm really interested to see about the catalysts too and the spells to see like how they look, especially on like, this is like the next gen game, really good graphics. I want to see these spells. I want to see the catalysts too, to see what they look like. I'm really curious about it. So this is really interesting. 339 armor pieces. So usually the way that this works with Souls games is there's about 80 complete armor sets and then like some extra stuff so i took the liberty of doing some math down here so if we take 80 and times four so four pieces of armor is 320 so we by the same math that that a usual dark souls game uses um this game would also be about the same it would have 80 complete armor sets and then some extra stuff that doesn't go with anything else like a hat or some gauntlets or some greaves that are kind of standalone but that's, that's the norm, like this is exactly what we've seen in like all these Souls games. Three unique endings, once again maybe the unique endings tie into getting the player classes, we don't know, but people really like the different unique endings. It was really interesting for Elden Ring to see everybody go after the Rani quest line when I saw that. The most ending that had been done when I saw that was there, I was like, oh that was really interesting, Rani. Everybody wanted to see the, the Age of Stars ending. And then so 30 bosses. Um, and I think they said about half of these have multiple phases. So 30 bosses, about half have multiple phases. This also makes up like the, the little mini bosses and stuff like that. So we'll have to see these bosses. I think that this is a pretty good solid number 30 with half of them having multiple phases. So they definitely put in a lot of work for this and I'm very excited to see how everything turns out. Well, Lord of the Fallen comes out this Friday, October the 13th. Friday the 13th. Ooh, spooky. Just in time for Halloween, right? But at any rate, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Um, take it easy. Leave a comment if you feel like you want to. And I'll see you later.